Hey Siri, turn on the fireplace. You can also turn it on and off with this Pico remote. And I wanted it so I could physically turn it on and off with the wall switch. Hi friends, I've been asked a few times to dive a little deeper into how I automated my gas fireplace into my Apple home. And in today's video, I'm going to show you just how I did that. So let's dive in. You saw in the introductory video, you can turn the fireplace on and off with Siri, a wall switch, Pico remote, or with automation scenes like my goodnight scene. I also have a timer that turns it off automatically after one hour, or if the temperature rises to 75 degrees or higher. There are multiple ways to accomplish this with pros and cons. But to keep this video simple and short, I'm just going to show you how I did it using Lutron Casita wall switch and an AC relay switch to turn my low voltage fireplace on and off. There are some prerequisites to make this work like mine. But first, a disclaimer. If you're uncomfortable working with electricity, please consult an electrician. But you can follow along to see if this is something you can do. Second, your fireplace must be low voltage, millivolt, gas valve switch to turn on and off. Most modern fireplaces are millivolt low voltage. If you're in doubt, look up your model number. Next, you're gonna need pre-existing wall switch and it has AC wires coming in with existing wires going down to your fireplace. And if it was like mine, it was an existing switch that had 120 volt AC with low voltage millivolt output going to the gas fireplace switch. For this application, we're gonna replace that, smart, that switch with a smart switch. So next you're gonna to need to get a new smart wall switch. It's just an on off switch, not the dimmer type that works in Apple Home. In my case, I stuck with Lutron Caseta switches along with a Pico remote so I can control them from my couch. Next, you're gonna need a 120 volt AC low voltage relay. The one I used a few years ago no longer is available, but there is an upgraded version. You can use that or you could, you could use the Acara T2 dual relay module. I'll put a link in the description for both of these so you can check them out if you want. So basically the way this works is this is the switch outlet that controls the fireplace down there when it was, the house was originally built. So this is the switch that actually turns the fan on and off. I just leave it on all the time. And this is the switch that we're going to be replacing. This was just a switch like this, but it was a low, it was an AC in with a low voltage out and the wires just kind of went down and there's an outlet down here where the valve switch connected to that outlet. So when, the original switch turned on over here. It would, as a low voltage, that sent a signal down here to the low voltage gas valve and turned it on and off. So what we do, what I did was replaced that switch with a Caseta wall outlet switch so that I could put it into my Apple Home. And then that wire that was there came in and plugged into the very top, hard to see, wire or outlet up here and so then i have this relay switch that i bought here off of amazon and i'll show a couple links in the description for this a couple options for that and basically just plugged that into that outlet up there so when that switch smart switch gets turned on it triggers this relay and this relay converts it to the low voltage and sends it over to the gas valve over here and basically turns the switch on and off, which then controls the fireplace on and off. I can pull this little switch out so we can see this a little bit closer, what it looks like. I get to focus. So this is the AC side comes in and then it has a low voltage that goes out. And there's basically just two wires. There's the open and then the common, which in that case is the, the ground. So this open wire is the red wire, goes down here to the TH side on this particular switch, goes down to the TH. And then the black and red wire comes up and goes into this other connection called TPTH, on off part of the switch. I'll also note that it's really cool down in here. This fireplace has been on for quite a while and um, it is very cool down in this area down here. So this switch does not get hot in any way. 
um, but it fits down in here nice and neat, just like that. And all the wires stay cool down below here. And this other one down here is AC that goes to that other switch on the wall that controls the fan back there. I don't know if you can see that. But basically that's controlled by a sensor that once it heats up to a certain temperature, the fan will automatically turn on. And I just keep it always turned on. This is the real stat for that. Just always keep it on to a certain level. And then when the fireplace turns off up there, it also turns off the fan down here. As far as the Caseta wall switch goes, once I installed the Caseta wall switch into the wall and connected the wiring, then I just went into the Caseta app and added it into the app and named it Fireplace. That then made it available in Apple Home. Once in Apple Home, I can turn it on and off with Siri and with automations and scenes. A couple of the automations I have here are it will automatically turn off after an hour, so I have a delay timer set up with a home bridge timer. And if the temperature rises above 75 degrees, it automatically turns off as well. And of course I have it part of my good night scene, which turns off everything I want at night, including the gas fireplace. Well, I think that'll pretty much wrap up this video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like this kind of content around smart homes and automations and do it yourself kind of things, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below and I'm pretty fast to answer. All right, thanks a lot and have a blessed day.